Well lads, what's the crack? My name is Orchid Runner and welcome to Sail by Salute, an indie horror game that's inspired by Bioshock and it's in the form of a PS1 D-make. So, I'm not sure how inspired by Bioshock it is, whether it takes certain aspects, 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 elements from that game and turns them into its own unique sort of art form, I'm not sure. So let's just get right into it. Also, this main menu music, it's very reminiscent of the uh, intro of uh, Silent Hill on the PS1, Jesus. Uh, this game is meant to be played through with one sitting, therefore a saving system is not implemented. Average playtime is 30 minutes. Well, good thing I'm not an average gamer, I'm a pretty adept gamer, so I'll probably have this finish in about a 20. Who am I kidding? It's going to take me this half an hour, if not more. Disaster struck our beloved city. My sons and daughters had turned against me. Oh no, not our sons and daughters. Ah yes, a very vague opening to a very vague indie horror game. And look at that shimmer, very reminiscent of the old PS1 style. God, oh, I love it. Okay, here are some handy dandy instructions. Press ISK to check the controls and check your current objective by pressing tab. Heal yourself at the heating station and find a way out of the clinic. Ah, oh, okay, yeah, this is definitely very Bioshock inspired. Not that I've played a lot of Bioshock, I've played through the first game, I've passed it. I played a small bit of Bioshock Infinite, but I've never played the second. I've, I don't know, those games, they were, the first one I was alright, but I wasn't really a fan of them. It, I, I don't know, I, I'm very picky about my games. Okay, your money for your health, okay, take my money. It'll make a lot more sense if that said uh, your health for your money because I'm still broke. Okay, so I gotta just uh, put this into the old uh, butthole. Is that where it goes? Ow. Okay, well, it definitely went somewhere. And that somewhere was awfully freaking painful because I got I got uh, zapped. Hey, buddy, you okay? Jesus. Who the hell beat you with the freaking ugly spade? Yeah, you definitely got beaten with a spade. Look, look at your face, it's so freaking flat. <laughs> it just looks like somebody's face was copied and pasted in over it. Jesus. Oh, okay, okay. it's gotta be one of the developers, more than likely. Okay, nitrohydrogen crossbow. It's only allowed to be used to clear an escape route in case of emergency from fall rubble and furniture. Do not use it on humans or animals. When an object is being shot with a nitrohydrogen bolt, it will transform into a nice block after a short time. The ice can be destroyed easily with a blunt tool written and approved by Dr. Sammy, lead researcher at Lampshade Clinic and Laboratory. Okay, so this is Lampshade. I'm assuming the if, if, if this is Lampshade Clinic, the rest of the area has got to be Lampshade City or... Whatever. Smashy smashy. I wonder would there be any big daddies in this? Surely it was one of the main elements of Bioshock. Just wondering if anybody is watching this, how would you feel about a Bioshock 2 Let's Play? I did a Let's Play of Bioshock 1 ages ago, but to be honest I wasn't happy with how it turned out and I deleted it. Investigate the bar. Where's the bar? Well, that's the Reef Casino. That's God knows what, and this is the nearest door. Oh. Oh, you look like a big daddy. Are you a big daddy? Are you going to get up and do the Oogie Boogie? Are you going to beat me to the ground until I am no more? Probably. What you're probably going to do is... I'm going to read something I'm not supposed to read, or pick up something I'm not supposed to pick up, and you're going to chase me around, probably throw me out the window here. Uh, anyway, let's see, Lampshade, the tranquil city below the ocean. This lion-hearted idea was made possible by Wallace Reed, who founded Lampshade Project. The city got its weird name from a cylinder-shaped metal object that surrounded the city when it was above water and under construction. But the city left its lampshade when the buildings were sunk under the water. 
Now shaded is located under the North Pacific Ocean. It offers a large hotel and entertainment complex with a 24-7 clinic and insurance for unsatisfied visitors. Huh? Insurance for unsatisfied visitors? Um, am I missing something? That makes no sense. Don't you mean satisfied visitors? I mean, why would somebody who's dissatisfied unsatisfied is that even a word there's unsatisfied and dissatisfied one of them is, is not proper English I think I think the word you're looking for is dissatisfied but either way point being why 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 would you need insurance if you're unsatisfied you'd freaking leave anyho any who any whore taking your money you don't seem to need it because you've had enough to drink clearly C clearly they had to set the big daddy on you you didn't want too many drinks put into you Dear God, my computer is taking off like a jet engine because it's like 20 odd degrees here in Ireland. Whew. Like my computer is never that loud. I'll have to do something about that in post processing or post video editing. Uh, okay, safe. I don't have the combination. Is the combination going to be on this sheet of paper? Some idiot wrote the damn combination of the safe to the hotel's reception wall. I'll find out who if I find out. To the hotel's reception wall? Combination of the safe to the hotel's reception That... Grammatically, that makes no sense. Don't you mean on the hotel's reception wall? On the wall, you mean. Okay, clearly it's not on any of these walls. Right, sure. Casino. Bar Arcadia. Wait, Bar Arcadia, is that, is that one word? No, it's not one word, but is that just one sign? To, is it called Bar Arcadia? Or the Arcadia Bar? Oh, it's an arrow. Clinic and Bar. Ah, yes, this is the Arcadia. Ah, or, or, yeah. Or, 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 Arcadia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, I'm guessing I don't need to go up here just yet. Is every one of these doors is locked? Uh, pick it up. Thank you. Okay, so this is this area explored. Uh, oh, 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 newspaper. 13th of July 1974. The peaceful city turns to hell. There have been reports coming from Lampshade that the seemingly friendly giants, the builders, have started massacring the city's residents. People had already started evacuating the city using escape pods. Injured people, children and women were evacuated first. A rescue mission was organised to help the rest of the residents who were still trapped under the ocean. The government of North Prey has announced that after the rescue mission is over, mines will be placed in the city to avoid the builders from escaping. Okie dokie, so the builders... Ah, oh, it must be the thing in the freaking scuba suit in the bar that must be a builder okay so it's this game's take on the big daddies Ooh, more money what was i looking for again what was i supposed to be doing i forget unlock the safe oh yes there's something about writing on the wall uh no nothing here Okay, there's a syringe under that, but I don't think I need it. But it's awesome to shiny. Complaints for the week 25th of August 1973. Residents demand the immediate deactivation of the builders at night. 20 complaints came in this week that the builders were knocking on the door at night. 2. Immediate resupply of toilet papers. 103 complaints about missing slash stolen toilet papers. Residents are not happy. I mean, uh, I'd, I'd be pretty unhappy too if I was walking around with a shitty ass. But still, more to the point, who's stealing toilet paper? I mean, what, what happened here? Was it the COVID pandemic? 
Number three. Ah, okay. Three, two, five is a combination. So write three times and have two times and write five times. I remember that, but first I want to explore down here. See what else is there to explore. I can't imagine this game being too big. I mean, after all, it's only what? It's supposed to be 30 minutes in length? If not more? Average playtime is 30 minutes. Then again, at start, I said I ain't an average gamer. Ooh, more monies. Give me those. Uh, three, two, five. That was the safe code, right? Right. Oh yeah, it's right down here. So that area is locked off for now, unless it needs a key. Like I hope there isn't areas added to this game just for fluff. Oh, 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 see for it. Smashy, smashy. Wait, can I get through here? Ah, here we go. Oh, I found a toilet paper. Somebody's hoarding it. Yeah, definitely somebody hid it here because of the COVID pandemic. That's definitely what happened. You remember at the start of 2020? Everybody started buying toilet paper for some mad reason because of COVID. I guess everybody thought it was going to give them the shits. Either that or, or they were eating it. The toilet paper, I mean. I mean, look. Uh, I, mean, I know a few people fell on hard times, but I think eating toilet paper took it a bit too far. Or is taking it a bit too far. I mean, maybe some people like eating toilet paper. I don't know. I'm not here to judge. Do I look like a judgmental type of person to you guys? That was a rhetorical question. Oh, box. What was it? Three, two, three, three, two, three, 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 two, five. What's the combination? Left three, I think. If you open a fucking safe, so uh, left no. Is it left? One, two, three. Two, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, no. Uh, I think I was right. One, two, three. One, two. One, two, three, four, five. Yes! Give me those fat stacks. Wait. What the hell? Oh. Okay, bye then. Uh, I was right. I knew it. I knew he'd get up and do the oogie boogie at some point. I knew he'd move his ass. Holy crap! He sure moves fast. Um, now, uh, you've obtained the hotel master key. Go back. Oh yes, those hotel rooms. <clears throat> Fucking hell! Okay, he must be doing the place up for me, or. Or something. I mean, why else would he put that there? Oh, more fat stacks. Thank you. Not sure what the hell I'll be doing with all this money. There doesn't seem to be a lot I can do with it other than buy uh, health injections. Uh, mm, bookshelf. Is there anything behind you? No. But this one. Okay, maybe not. Okay, we have our uh, standard sink, the toilet, and the bath. Looks to be full of water. That's what I. Excuse me, what the. Oh, that was just me. Okay, yeah, looks to be full with water, as all baths should be. And as uh, seen as, uh, you know, in the toilet, I might as well, you know, pinch one off. Uh, so uh, if you'll excuse me just for a minute just gotta assume the position here just do a bit of squat plant the legs firmly <clears throat> yep and just a big old <sighs> come on when you gotta go you gotta go all right just gotta wash my hands here like so, give the ass a bit of a wipe. 
you know, can't go around with a filthy bottom. And of course, wash the hands again one last time. There we go. All done. I'm all pooped. Okay, so enough of that. That 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 nonsense. Let's go. Agency. What? Okay, so room one one. Room one one. The agency enters room one o three and one o four. No, I'll check out the agency first. Uh, b -b 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 investigate the agency. Oh, okay, I will do indeed. Investigate what though? Oh, 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 this looks suspicious. What's in here? Uh, find all the numbers scattered around the what? Around the residence. Oh, hell no. Oh no, 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 oh no. Okay, to use the emergency elevator that leads to the escape pods, it couldn't must be entered first. There's a text written by someone at the bottom of this document. Based on the handwriting, the person who wrote this must have been in a hurry. I had to split the code into numbers, then gave them to people who I know will handle this matter with caution. I give two numbers to Mr. Solomons, who lives in room 103. Give one number to the electrician, who lives next to the agency, that's 101. Uh, Wallace knows the rest of the numbers. He mentioned something about the shooting gallery. Into the casino. Okay. Uh, was there a bit at the end? The numbers must be inserted in ascending order. The numbers must be entered in ascending order. So I'm assuming I go by this list here. So I, so I get Wallace's number, then. Then uh, room, then no, 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 no. I go to like the electrician's. Excuse me. I go to the electrician's room and then room one o three. Is there any sp specific order I have to go in? I, mean, I know I have to enter them in that in a specific order, but does it matter what order I go in to get them? So the electrician's room. He said it's beside the agency, so it's room one o one here. This wasn't here before. Uh, Henry, please fix the lights which are behind the curtain. Love you, Leela. Le Leah, Leah. Uh oh. Oh no. Okay, so I just skipped this room altogether. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, wait, 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 wait. What's that? This is supposed to be some sort of puzzle. If it is, I ain't getting it. Oh, oh. Come on, there's gonna be something I'm missing. Really, hold on. I have the power to fuck with my neighbors, apparently. Imagine how agitated people would be just to see the lights sticking on and off like this. Wait, 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 wait. It's zero. Eight. Oh, okay. That is clever. That must be one powerful light switch. Tell you what, your next door neighbors or your apartment neighbors must hate your freaking guts. Okay, so next room is one of three, so. Uh. Lampshade is on its knees. Okie dokie, if you say so. So, what about this code here? Oh, oh, shiny paper. Fig quizzically, who left the comfy layer was quickly caught off guard. Okay, this is some code here. And let me guess, let me guess. Each letter here corresponds to a different, will probably correspond to a number, or will type out some sort of code. F I G. 
Oh, I see. He rearranged the letters. Well, he didn't rearrange them. He he had them type. He had the output be different to the letters. Oh, okay, okay. That is smart. So, f two. Oh, oh shit. Okay. I'm good so far. I'm good so far. He's not here. He's not here. Uh, dash MC. XW. Oh, no. He's fucking here. Hello. Goodbye. Okay. Uh, two little hair who left the later was quickly caught off guard. Uh, I am W R dash C dash B C Y Z Q U dash G V dash the Gax. Two little hero left to come later was quickly caught off guard with a family of four. So there's gonna be three digits here. So M Z F uh, hit. Okay, I, I'm 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 not liking where this is going. F M W W Y dash I Z F M dash F M W Z X oh shit dash E C it's gonna be car X two little hero who left company later was quickly caught off guard when a family of four hit them with their car pulling hairs so we have two and then we have four was that really necessary that to figure out the last line even though it didn't have any numbers on it so two and four. So we have eight, two and four. Oh shit. Oh shit. Okay, I think he's going into the back room. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm going to get my ass to the casino. Casino, that's where I have to go next, right? Yeah, I think the note said something about the casino. Uh, brief casino this way. And he's not following me, is he? Oh, fuck me, he is. Oh, fuck, 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 oh, he's uh, taking off in the other direction. Okay, good, good, good for you. Maybe he's not a gambling uh, builder. Good for him. Uh, middle mouse button to zoom. Good to know. Don't know why I would need that. Hell, I don't even know why I need half of this money. Just picking it up just because it's there. Okay, never mind. The controllers are janked. Or the control is a bit janked. Uh, right, 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 right. Out of order. Okay, there's one not going there. Just make sure the coast is clear. Okay, I don't see him. Yeah, it must be uh, a gambler. Oh, a letter. Uh, score above 15 for a special prize. Oh, I see where this is going. I'm going to have to sh shoot some things here that pop up, right? Ah, yeah.
trap in this one. Okay, so what now? Oh, so if a thing for more health, I, I think, unless they give me powers, no, can't pick it up. That stack of cash, ooh, cards, so uh, nine and five. Or that could be interpreted as six. Six and five, or nine and five, that's, oh, that's a bit confusing, if I do say this for myself. I mean, from this perspective, it looks like six and five. So we have five numbers. Eight was the first one we found, then four and two. Now nine and five, possibly nine and five. So find all the numbers to get around the residency. I have that done. I think there was a bit of a pin pad beside me in the office that I was in before. Or the agency. Hello? How you doing, buddy? Oh, oh no, oh no, don't come this way, don't come this way. Yeah, there was a pin pad. Um, 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 let me think about this for a sec. No, no, no. Hold on. Okay, I get room number, I get two numbers to Mr. Solomon's, who lives in room 103. R room 103 numbers were four and two. Then the electrician, that was eight, that was the room beside this one. And Wallace, he mentioned something about the shooting gallery in the casino, and nine and five, so four, two, eight, nine, five. And in ascending order, okay. That could mean anything. So I try it the way I think it's meant to be interpreted as. It's so the last two were in the casino. Those were nine and five. Then eight and two and four. No, maybe it was at six and a five. Six, five, uh, eight, four, two, nine, five, it's two and four, you idiot. Six, oh, for fight's sake, six, five, eight, two, four. Ascending order, that's key, that's key to this. Unless ascending order in terms of value. That might be it. I could be wrong. This could take a few attempts, but I I'm gonna be definitely wrong about this probably. So we have two four eight nine and five. So two four five Eight, nine. Okay then. Yeah, that was cool. That could have been explained a bit better because I could have been there all day trying to figure that out. Especially when the last two numbers were given on a card. That could have been interpreted in like three different ways. It could have been like a six and a five. It could have been... A nine and a five, and depending what order it could have you, and depending what order it should have been in, it could have been five or six or five or nine. Okay, Doki. So this is it. We've escaped. We've escaped danger. Oh shit! Did I do that? Oh my god! Did I freaking do that? Did I put a hole in this ship or something? <laughs> <laughs> that was too perfect. I seem to be doing more harm than good. Can we escape? Can we do the escape? 
hey, 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 whoa. You here to help me? I don't think he's here to help me. Thanks for playing. Okay, made by Bedtime Stories. Right, not not a bad game, not a bad game. Fairly short, fairly straightforward. And the last puzzle, that was a bit of a head scratcher, I suppose. I mean, I'm guessing the person who developed this, the people who developed this, their first language isn't English, I'd assume, given the uh, grammatical errors that I found here and there. But not bad, not bad at all. I'm not critiquing the game in any bit. But like I said, uh, some people might be confused about the last puzzle. I mean, like, if your mind isn't open to interpret that puzzle in the right way you're gonna be stuck in that for ages and ages but yeah still not bad and this music again does sound like the intro music to Silent Hill I wonder if it's inspired by Silent Hill I wonder if this is like an original score or if it's just taken from one of those um, royalty free websites hmm interesting choice by the way very interesting choice I mean it, it doesn't really suit this game uh, given that it's uh, very Bioshock inspired then again, I forget the score of the Bioshock game, but I don't think it was a guitar melody like this, and it's gone. Uh, yeah, so the passion project, or as a project, or as a college project, whatever type of project this was, it's a fairly decent game, yeah. Like, like again, very inspired by Bioshock. A lot of key elements that just seem to be ripped from the game and just uh, demaked in sort of a PS1 format, or remade in a PS1 format. But, uh, yeah, it seemed to have a bit of a unique storyline as well. Kind of, to an extent. Ugh, you know what? It seems like I'm ripping on the game, but but I'm not. I'm, I'm, I'm not. It was, it was a good game. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And, uh, yeah, I'd like to see more of this type of game. More more PS1 D-makes, remakes, whatever you want to call them. Because there's a lot of them floating around there at the moment. Because going back in 2010, you had a lot of Unity Engine-based games. Those were games to play back then those were the type of games indie horror games <laughs> that was that was the engine used for indie horror games and it was supposed to be a fairly decent one at, at that time but uh, if you think back to slender and stuff like that i mean the graphics weren't all good but they just looked uh unique they looked somewhat next gen kind of to an extent Oh my god, no, no, no. I, I, I'll stop here, I'll stop here before I talk myself stupid. So guys, anyway, you know what to do. If you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a massive thumbs up, comment, favorite, cheer, and of course, like always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Until the next time, see ya.